for the seminary to have events like this because it brings together people from the Catholic community. And there is a certain amount of unawareness of the seminary, and there's great curiosity about the seminary. Everyone I talk to about it says, where is it? And they're surprised that it's in Camarillo. They're surprised it's so beautiful. And to bring the people here, they have an awareness of it. And I think to engender vocations and to raise money for the seminary, people have to know about it. And they have to know about the need. And to come here and experience the chapel and to be with the seminarians and to be with the priests and the nuns and the lay people who love it, I think is a very beautiful way to spread the word on St. John Seminary. Uh, to open our meal, Monsignor Lloyd Torgerson, recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award, pastor of St. Monica's in Santa Monica, will lead us in our opening prayer. Loving God's source of wisdom and power, as we gather this evening to honor these distinguished alumni of St. John Seminary, we recall the words of David White. People are hungry, and one good word is bread for a thousand. These men have been a word of blessing and hope for thousands over these many years with extraordinary dedication. At the risk of starting on a negative note, <laughs> could I remind you that the last 10 years has not been a great time in the church? One that I would not wish, a decade I would not wish on anyone. He has been a manifestation of the grace of God poured out in my lifetime and in our times. It is a privilege for me to introduce my senior Peter Nugent. What have I, I have experienced, and uh, tonight uh, this gathering uh, brings that to bear uh, in a place that uh, is very familiar with me for uh, all of these years, uh, since 1956, I guess that's uh, 55 years or so, if my arithmetic is correct, but uh, practically all of that time being some way associated with seminary, so this uh, setting uh, has a uh, wonderful spirit to it for me. It's a wonderful blessing to have uh, values in your life that you know are going to last. And so I thank God this evening for all of you here present who represent uh, so much of the richness of the life I've experienced. Uh, and I thank you for being here and uh, bless the Lord for all of it. Thank you. So it is my honor to present and introduce to you this evening Monsignor Pat Thompson, longtime friend, man of vision, energy, and enthusiasm. And the first one is uh, fed back to me by Gary Scott some years ago. He said, you know, when I think of you, one thing says, what could go right? Many people, what could go wrong if you tried this? What could go right? So I think that St. John's Seminary, my experience here was, what could go right? I didn't have any quarrels, I didn't have any problems, I didn't have any great insights to deliver anybody, but it sort of said, you don't have to be afraid. I remember one of our rectors said, and he was a guy who wasn't all that beloved, frankly, but he said, <laughs> he said something, <laughs> he said something, he said, gentlemen, let the church make your life. And for some people, they're like, oh, oh. but I, I believed it. I still believe it. I think I've done it. And everything has been right. Um, when I say that Chris Redondo has the heart and the, and the mind of, of Jesus, all those things. Uh, he has a, a program, it's called uh, Meal Angels. And to those who are recuperating or in mourning, uh, Chris is there organizing a meal to their home. Um, I just can't think of a, uh, a more Christ-like individual. So I'm happy to introduce uh, to you uh, Christopher Redondo. Uh, 
Monsignor Craig, Cardinal Roger Mahoney, Monsignor Gary, fellow distinguished alumni of St. John's, current seminarians, beloved family members, thank you for this truly unexpected honor of being named a distinguished alum, alumnus of St. John's Seminary. <clears throat> as I have reflected on this honor, I have come to see it as a tribute to three wonderful God-given vocations that I have been privileged to share in. First and most important, for 42 years, I have been blessed with the love and friendship of my wife and partner in life, Alice. Together we are blessed with three incredible children, four fabulous grandchildren, and we eagerly anticipate grandchild number five coming in March. I have come to realize that this honor tonight <clears throat> is a tribute to the vocation of marriage and family life, reflecting God's love for his people in our love for each other as husband and wife and family members. And so, to Alice, Dan, Debbie, Tracy, Mike, my brother Jerry, this honor is for you as we continue to live and grow and laugh and love together as a family. I pray daily that our Lord will send much needed laborers into the field of our world today, and that our Lord will bless and guide St. John's Seminary in its own wonderful mission. I am deeply grateful for the opportunity to express publicly my gratitude for the blessing that St. John's has been and continues to be in my life. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. And um, I have to say, it's just a tad bit intimidating having to follow all these Monsignors. Uh, that's just a little different for me. Um, I, I did grow up Catholic and in a Catholic school, and when I saw this many priests in one room, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> so, but with that said, and all kidding aside, I'm thrilled to be here tonight to honor these five wonderful men for all they have done. And I'm here tonight to introduce Father Michael McCullough. Yay! Father Michael McCullough, Father Mike to me and to the thousands and thousands of officers out there that he has ministered to over the years. And if I can just see a hand, I know I've got fellow law enforcement out there. See, these are just a few of the people that he has touched. Father Mike and I have been friends for many, many years. Not, we did not meet in the seminary, in case you were all wondering. <laughs> At that same time, he decided to do two things simultaneously. It, that's a time when young priests are going out there and going to their churches and ministering. He also chose to do something that I think is extraordinary, and that is to really start to take care of the men and women in law enforcement. And I can't thank you enough. I am I'm pleased to have been able to introduce you tonight for this wonderful honor. But most importantly, I am proud to call him my brother officer. Father Mike, if you will. I want to... Uh, Especially tonight, personally thank. Just back a little. Okay. <laughs> personally thank uh, Bishop Tom Curry and Cardinal Roger Mahoney for supporting me in this ministry for these decades. Because I know the shortage of priests has been very acute and very real. But uh, I have really appreciated that support that you've given me, and uh, I hope I've lived up to expectations. In terms of law enforcement, I'd just like to say this. Law enforcement entails a daily drop of corrosion on the soul. There's no way 
that you can deal with that percentage of society that most of us don't want to deal with. And I'm not talking about the down and out people. I'm talking about the violent, violent criminals who will take a human life in a millisecond. That uh, these men and women go out and deal with that every day. And it's not without a tremendous amount of damage to their own psyches, to their own bodies, that they go through a career in law enforcement. And what we as chaplains attempt to do and what we try to do at the Desert Refuge for Peace Officers is teach them how to have a daily drop of grace on their soul, to neutralize that corrosive action of the few in our society who are terrible people. And uh, God bless all of you. Thank you very much for this honor. I have the privilege of introducing a man who needs no introduction, which is always a wonderful challenge. You know, one of the greatest gifts of the Diocese of Fresno, of which I am a member, is Cardinal Roger Mahoney. As a seminarian, and this is where I really first met him 50-some years ago, he worked at our summer camp at Bass Lake, and that was as the handyman. And Cardinal Roger Mahoney has provided pastoral vision, energy, and leadership to this archdiocese, to the Church of California, and to the nation over these past 50 years, and will continue to do so. And it is my distinct privilege and pleasure to present to you this final distinguished alumni of St. John's Seminary, His Eminence, Roger Cardinal Mahoney, the Archbishop Emeritus of Los Angeles. And we were able to go out to the Bracero camps all around Ventura County and for the first time meet farm workers, these men who had come from Mexico on these special contracts uh, working in the fields, doing all this tremendous work for practically no pay. And they taught me a love for our immigrant peoples. They reminded me of our history of immigrants that made this a strong and wonderful nation. And they inspired me, and my whole life changed because of that experience at St. John Seminary. And that is why even today, that is my primary focus with the, the years, the grace, the energy that God gives me, the days left to carry this out. And without St. John Seminary, that would not have been the avenue that I would have chosen. So tonight I'm grateful to this seminary, to the inspiration, to all who have given leadership here, all who have labored behind the scenes, those who have formed us into the image of Jesus Christ, and especially through the example and the modeling of St. Vincent de Paul and St. Louise de Marriac. Thank you, God bless you.